here at my brother's place actually and we're going to start working on our condenser. Now I've had these all made up. These are 20 inches. Oh nice and clean. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just the simplest thing. Hydrogen peroxide and citric acid and water. 50 mils of hydrogen peroxide one weight ounce of citric acid and 500 mils of water and they come out less beautiful. So uh, I have been looking everywhere for copper and it is not easy by any stretch of the imagination to find copper pipe. A 12 foot piece of 2 inch from a wholesaler for me is over $300 and I'm not paying $300 for that because I've already spent way too darn much. So I took a piece of that uh, pipe, and uh, that two and a half inch pipe. This pipe in particular is, uh, it's, they have designations on pipe. Uh, it's uh, KLM and DWV, I believe it is, down, uh, drainage waste vent. Yeah, DWV. Uh, so it's super, super thin walled. Well, I ended up finding a piece of K. So it's extremely heavy walled. I don't know how that factors into it as far as heat and all that sort of stuff, heat retention. I assume it would probably have more heat retention uh, just because <clears throat> of the sheer physical size of the copper. So it makes it pretty heavy though too. So anyways, this here piece that I took from the pipe, so cut a piece off, cut it, heated it, bent it out, and this is what we're going to use to make our round plates for our shotgun condenser. I'm going to try and at least do part of the, the soldering on video uh, just so that well, well, it can be seen. So you can see it and then you can see what it takes and, and then maybe you can apply it for your own home builds and that sort of thing. Okay, cool. Let's go get those parts and I'll be right back. So here, here we are back. Um, okay, so this is going to be my product condenser. This is 20... 21 and a quarter inches, I believe it is. Because I want to put tri clamps on this. So put ferrules in here, tri clamps. And so I needed room for the shelf of that, uh, that uh, ferrule and slides inside here. Um, because it's K, it was really thick, I may have to pound them in or tap them in anyways. This is my product condenser, or this is what it's gonna be. This here, is going to be my stack, my main stack off my uh, keg boiler. And then, this is going to be my reflux condenser. So I got the solution down here below me. Talk about a huge difference. So, I took and drew up a couple of these here. Now, I don't think this is gonna be quite enough in there, let's see. Yeah, it should be, it should be tight. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to do some, I'll have to do some sanding. Then I'll probably get my rough cuts and then go from there. Um, so that's the, that's the idea. I'm gonna set that like that and like that. Uh, and always, I think the best option here is to try and remember or set up your decals the same way because when you go to put them together, you're going to want them like this so that they slide through and they stay in the same orientation on both sides. All right, so yeah, let's hope this works. So we're going to glue this on, keep this glued on like this and like this, and then we're going to let it sit. And, and dry into place and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a punch and we're gonna punch these out. I got one of them, I think it's this one here. It's a little bit off as far as the center point is and I think this one might be a little bit off in the center point. But all in all, I think it'll be fine. We're gonna let this set. Once it's set, we're going to uh, we're gonna get drilling. 
So these are just stuff I, I drew up and then I printed out and then I glued them on here with just regular um, Elmer's school glue. I don't, I can't find my uh, my punch, but uh, we're doing it in copper, so copper is pretty easy to uh, to manipulate. So we're just going to use this uh, two inch uh, deck screw. Okay, got our holes punched. So uh, yeah, unfortunately we're gonna, I'm gonna have to do this all by hand now. So I guess wish me luck, see how this goes, yeah? This is working out well. It's looking like I'm going to end up having to use a Dremel to get in here and clean this up properly because I don't have the access to a drill press right now. So there you go. Take it as it is. Do what you got with what you got, I guess, right? All right, at least I got that secured somewhat. Hopefully, I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, let's try in. I've already pre-drilled a couple of these holes here. We did our punch with our drill bit or uh, deck screw and I had to use a rat tail file and I've been sitting here for two and a half hours busting my bits trying to get this uh, get this squared away and then, uh, so yeah we finally got that done just need to grab a knife here if I can remember where I threw it there it is uh, so get yourself a sturdy knife <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this here Let's see if we can see this here see all the burrs on there all those delicious burrs, they need to come off because clean work means things will usually go together a lot better. Just a sturdy knife and a little bit of patience and take your time. Okay, so the other thing I did too as well is if you look here, the other thing I did as well is I marked the bottom so when we put these together, they're going to be, both papers will be facing the same direction. That way when you put your pipes in, they're going to line up a lot better. We're going to cut this, cut our circles out, and then fit it in our pipe. But right now, I'm going to, oh, dang. Yeah, 
So when you heat this up with a torch and you get it good and hot, it's soft and it's fairly easy to cut. Like I cut this, this part here, like I cut it and unfolded it. And I cut this here yesterday and it was pretty much like cutting through, well, hard butter, but it was still butterish. And now, uh, once I get it cut out, then I can shape it and uh, get it looking nice and hopefully decently round and then we can get our pipes fit together on there and then hopefully everything works out and I can slide it down this piece right here so yeah see how nice the ends are that's all from that freaking solution that uh, that I made up and thank you George for that Okay, our basic rough shape, rough outline. We're gonna take the grinder and we're gonna set it up so that we can uh, use it in such a way that we can make these corners uh, decent. Okay, I'm gonna go get my gloves. Um, I'm gonna put these on the uh, in the vise, and I'm gonna touch them with the uh, grinder just to get the paper off. I have marked the edge of them where I want them to line up for the uh, pieces of pipe that are gonna go in here. So we're gonna quickly get this cleaned off. I mean, ultimately, if there's a little bit of paper on here, it's not really going to make much of a deal or much of an issue. I mean, you're going to burn it off as soon as it gets hot, right? So, yeah. Now let's get the other one in there. So, make sure we got our stuff in the correct direction. Paper in the same direction. Because that way, these should line up perfectly. Or close to perfect, I guess. As you can... You know, and I thought of, while I was doing this, I thought of doing a, um, uh, having these stick out quite a, or, you know, fairways, and then I thought, well, if I do that, it kind of defeats the purpose of, it's supposed to be for cooling, right? So anything, the more pipe you have exposed past that ring, the less, you know, the, the less amount that's going to be cooled by the water, right? So, so I changed my mind. I'm going to try and get this as close as possible. Well, that looks pretty tickety-boo there. Okay, where's our tab? There it is there. 
And there this is here. Paper, 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 paper. Just like so. Paper still facing in. There's our dot there. That's the last one. Oh yeah, baby. Check that out. <laughs> well, I guess it's hard to check out if I don't have it in the camera. Oh, there's our end. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Damn, that's sexy. Okay, now let's see if we can get this in here. Son of a bitch, that's a sexy thing. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Okay, so now I wish I knew what this... Uh, oh, I had one piece fall down. Okay, so... We got everything cleaned up, reassembled. Um, I'm not a plumber by trade, so I just picked up a. And this is a plumbing solder kit. It has silver, uh, silver solder, lead free, number 95 tinning flux. It's not cold, that's for sure. this bad boy over slide this up
get a hole or a couple holes drilled in this, uh, measure it out, and get some holes drilled, and then get some small pieces of pipe in there, and we're going to and we'll solder this. Uh, there we are. And we'll solder this too um, after we get uh, some of these two holes in it for the jack because we're going to be. Ooh, that's hot. Well, now that we're like that, we've already got this done. Let's see if this fits again. Please help me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What is hot? And because it's hot, it has expanded, so it may be... Oh, look at that. That is what we want, boys and girls, and anybody else that's into, uh, look at that. So we're going to get that all nice and soldered in there, but we need to get some holes in this so we can hook up our water lines, right? Dang, that's a beautiful thing. Woohoo. Okay. I'm going to let that cool off. I'm going to take a break. Okay, so what I did here is I ended up taking my grinder. I'm a little bit off, but took the grinder and I ground this so it's nice and I didn't want uh, much protruding out here. Um, and the reason for that is, I think is mostly because I don't know about circulating vapors. So I try to keep this as low as possible. So this is going to be what's going to be closest to my uh, vapor. And then the other end, this end here, is going to be what's going to be coming down into my collection. Yeah, so that's the, that's the idea. Just got to clean, this, uh, clean the holes up a little bit. So because I have the K pipe, this K pipe, the problem is, is because it's so thick, I cannot get my tri-clamp ferrule inside. So if you look here, this does not go inside. So I'm going to try and heat this up, heat this up around here and see if I can get this to drop in. Uh, before I do that though, I'm going to clean this up, clean this up and score this because what I'll do is if I can heat this up enough to drop this in, then I'm going to solder it. Oh, that's hot. Damn, it's hot.
So that is smoking hot. Uh, we're going to wait, let that cool down. Then we're going to uh, find the best spot to cut these holes for our uh, half inch pipe to go in the side. Uh, in the side so that we can uh, set up our water system. Just cut my two pieces. They're about, I don't know, about two inches long. I think that's uh, plenty. the Sundays until this is done. All right, well, I won't subject you to this uh, any longer because let's be, let's face it, it's, uh, it's not fun. So I wasn't really, <laughs> forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, yeah, just got finished uh, welding these in, or uh, soldering them in. Please forgive me if these aren't really well done, but that's the best I can do. The best I know how to do. Oh, that's like freaking smoking hot. And then we got this one here. And yeah, one got a little bit cut away on me. But we got nothing inside and there's no drips. When we water test this, hopefully, uh, hopefully she's good to go tickety-boo. Uh, it seems like it will be. We gotta let that cool off because that is hot. Sun's going down. I've been at this since two o'clock this afternoon. It's now eight o'clock at night, so six hours I've been doing this. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm happy the way things have turned out. Yeah, so once we finish this up, uh, I gotta wait for parts to come in. I need uh, a bunch of tri clamps and the ferrules for the uh, two and a half inch here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, uh, I might. I might see if I can get some sort of a tool, you know, like a honing tool that you'd use for a piston wall. Maybe get something like that to hone out these pipes a little bit so that I can get those ferrules in a little bit better. Because currently, I mean, while well, you saw, I had to heat it up like a, well, I had to heat it up a lot and then I had to bash it in. So I'd imagine soldering doesn't do a great job when there's no, there's no gap at all. But I don't know for sure, but that would be my assumption on it. Yeah, so we're gonna leave this here till it cools off. Okay, here we are with our two pieces. Okay, well that didn't work at all. Okay, so I managed to get it, managed to get her soldered in there. Hopefully,
There you go. Hopefully that's good. At some point, I'm going to take my boiler and we're going to change it over from a two, and a, a two inch to a two and a half um, and we're going to switch to the four inch and taper down to a two and a half because then I got some four inch, I got about probably about 16 inches of four inch pipe that I kind of want to mimic, maybe mimic a uh, an onion and then so yeah it's kind of my thoughts it were you know maybe maybe you know 10 12 14 inches put this on then had my column my uh, two and a half inch column on top of that then come off there and do the condenser uh, i'd love to know your thoughts on it uh, right now because it comes with the, the the boiler does come with a two inch on there um, i do have a two inch to two and a half inch reducer i guess um, so yeah, so we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Oh.